Joe Flynn, what is this about a million dollar duck? I don't know. I think it's an X-rated film they're trying to sneak <laughs> on the networks. It's just terrible. It's, uh, it's a Disney film that we made for theaters a little while ago. And they're going to break it up into two parts and open the season with a wonderful world of Disney with it. And it's, um, people tell me, what is it about? And outside of the old joke, well, it's about two hours. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a duck that lays golden eggs. And of course, the old cliche is the goose. So we change them into a duck. But it's a funny picture. Good people in it. Dean Jones, who's a perennial Disney star, is in it. And it was Sandy Duncan's first movie ever. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And that's what started the whole thing for her, was it? I guess so. Yeah. That and a local bank commercial <laughs> out here. Yes. You know, she's yeah. a Texas girl. Is she? Tyler, Texas. That's right. And she just went back not too long ago. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So all of Texas is very proud of Sandy Duncan. She's terrific. Yes. You have made, so they say, and you can verify this, or you can say that's rotten, that's wrong, but you have made more films at Disney than any other actor. Is that true? Yes, more more films than any other player. And I, I don't know how that happened. I'm not under contract at Disney. It's just a, a catch-as-catch-can thing, and they, they'll call me. If I'm busy, they wait, and it's been wonderful. I'm currently working on my 13th film there. I hope it's not an unlucky number for me. Has it changed much since Walt Disney's death? Ah, uh, no, it hasn't. Although I never knew Walt Disney. I had to wait till he died to get in there. I think he would, it seemed to me that he had a rule in his lifetime, don't let Joe Flynn in the studio. <laughs> and now they're trying to make it up to <laughs> you. <laughs> trying to make it up to you. <laughs> I did do one film there when he was alive, but we didn't meet. My first one was called Son of Fub Flubber, and Mr. Disney was alive at that time, but uh, we never met. But I don't think it has changed much. It's amazing. You're on that lot and you hear them say, the producers and the directors and so forth, well, Walt would have liked this, Walt wouldn't like that. It's just like he was still up in his office. It's, it's a little bit eerie, but it's also kind of nice. I, every actor I've ever talked with, or anybody who's ever worked at the Disney Studios, they always talk about how well you're treated, that it's just the working conditions are the best. Truly wonderful. You can get a lunch that you need a small boy to help you carry, and it's 75 cents. Now, where can you be? Where, where, where <laughs> Joe, point me in that direction. Commissary at Disney. <laughs> I think they lose about $200,000 a year on the commissary. It's, and that's just indicative, I think, of the, the whole place. It's really great. Yeah. And where else can you go to work and you're walking down Dopey Drive and Mickey Lane and all those grumpy boulevards? Those are all the streets. <laughs> Joe, I have to change the tempo just a bit here because um, we know now that the this actor strike is not going to be. You heard that. I you're heard right on that. Top of things, aren't and you? I also know that you're vice president of Screen Actors Guild, and Dennis mm -hmm. Weaver, of course, is the president. Right. Now then, uh, do you know the terms of the negotiations? Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So what are they? You were trying to get a hundred percent. Uh, pay for for uh, reruns. Right. Now, what's the deal? We, Santa, we signed a three-year contract, and in the third year of that contract, we will get 100% of our salaries, but with a ceiling of $1,200 ceiling. But we opened the door, and it isn't just a selfish thing. I think your audience may be interested in this, but because we did open the door to a higher, and eventually in the last year of the contract, 100% salary, I think it will have the effect of limiting reruns for the viewer. So I think it's a, it's a good contract for everybody. We also opened another door, if we have time. We opened the door to payment to actors in perpetuity. It used to be you could have 10 runs of a show and then they owned the film. But now, no matter where it plays, how often, wherever, whenever, forever, actor will be paid something. That's not retroactive. I won't participate in that, but future Captain Binghamton's will. Joe, thanks so much for your time today. It's a delightful visit. Thank you.